Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Second time, I think, this week for me, talking uh, talking about AMP. Uh, it, it's not that I dislike the product or I love the product. It's that there hasn't been that much to talk about. Everything is speculative. We're, we'll get there, hold, believe, faith, all that, and I'm not that kind of investor. But with the with the grayscale zoom call and, and Tyler on there, he did drop a couple of bombs. So I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and revisit it and uh, actually take this one apart just a little bit. So the biggest takeaway that I got from that, I did watch it. I did watch the zoom. I watched the interview, and it wasn't designed to uh, plug amp. It was designed and laid out for the grayscale investors for them to show all of their investors and potential investors look at the products that we're we're onboarding this is where your money's going we're gonna make uh we're gonna earn on the backs of all these people that's what it was but it was an excellent chance for uh tyler to get out and talk about the product so he did now the biggest takeaway that i got from this one is the imminent and i think he said next week we'll 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 see no for sure uh of the sdk now flexa is an ecosystem. They are absolutely an ecosystem. They do not have the manpower to drive uh, usage, not by themselves. They, You need a team. You need lots of different uh, individuals, lots of different visions, project man. I mean, you, it's a thing. And I, Flex has never been about that. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know, man, I'm not in the room. But in my opinion, they've never been about that. They've always been about uh, being an ecosystem and letting people build on them. Tyler confirmed it. So I, I, you know, talking about this a year ago and you're wrong and I'm, I'm not. All right. So the SDK is coming out, the software development kit. Now, what this means is that anybody who wants to use crypto payments, wants to use Flexa to process their crypto payments, can use Flexa to process their crypto payments. We've been holding out. Amp's been holding out, waiting. It's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on Shopify. It's going to be everywhere. Just wait. And... It wasn't, and it doesn't need to be at now. It it, it just doesn't. That it's great if they do, but uh, you can do it yourself now. That's the funny thing about the SDK. Anybody can utilize it. Amazon, if they want to, they can. But anybody can. Solana Pay can utilize the SDK if they re like flex it to process their crypto payments. They absolutely can. But for me, I've never seen crypto as the value of this. I, I get it. I'm dead wrong. What do I know? I'm just a, a boomer. Someone called me a boomer on, uh, on my comments. I had to look it up. I didn't know what a boomer was. But I, I've never really seen the value of it because it's such a niche market. And you don't build a product for a niche market. You build a product for the entire world. So the money shot, I've always considered the money shot for Flexa to be fiat. Now, he did not specifically say fiat. He didn't say those words. But it was uh, it was pretty well inferred from everything he was saying that any asset means, in fact, any asset. So I don't even know because we don't have the SDK yet, but I don't even know if it'll process fiat. If it will, that's a game changer. This is what it should be because you are literally processing fiat transactions for uh, 1% as opposed to American Express, Visa, Discover, all these other people who are doing it at 3 4 and 5%. So at something like that, it is literally in the merchant's interest to do it. Now, one of the important things of this is that it be very easy to integrate. That is critical in this. Now, from a merchant's perspective, I don't think they care what they're being paid with. doesn't matter to them. They're going to receive fiat on the other end, so they don't care what you pay them with. All they're trying to do is sell product. So... The uh, SDK, if it's easy to integrate, it, it makes it, it it makes it nice. The merchant wants you to be able to pay in any manner that you choose, anything that you see fit. They just want to make sure that it they receive their end and that it's uh, probably the most inexpensive way that they can do it. And honestly, it's not for the consumer. All right, that's for the merchant. This literally saves uh, the mer it saves the consumer nothing. Uh, we we've had the argument before it's probably better to use uh, just a standard credit card with cash back or airline miles or something like that because you're not going to get it with this but that's a whole different discussion well you know what we'll talk about it on the live stream tonight we'll have some fun with it but this is the best part of this is that now we get to see we've been talking about it for a good year but now we get to see 
when the SDK comes out, anybody can utilize this. So if there is massive value in crypto spends in the legacy world, we're about to find out. That's it. And that is going to drive the price action of the token because it is a use case token. There's always going to be some speculation in crypto. There's a speculation in stock. People do it every day. Uh, if you watch my video from a couple of days ago, I told you I made a big purchase right there at 2-1. I, I, I'm time and date stamped. I said, I'm making a purchase right there at 2-1, and I'm going to sell it at 2-3. And I did both of those things. I got my 10%. I was happy about it. AMP has been the gift that has kept on giving to me as long as there's been AMP. So you're always going to see this kind of price action, but it's the organic growth, the steady organic growth that you need out of a use case token. And to do it, it needs to get used. Now, the SDK will allow it to get used. Is it going to moon? I, you know what? No, it, it's not. I Disagree with me. You know what? Leave me the hate comments. I love those because I read them on the live stream and uh, our, our folks get a kick out of them. So if you vehemently disagree, please leave me a comment. Uh, I'm not going to make you famous, but it, it certainly uh, it helps my show. It's not going to move. All right. It ain't happening today. It ain't. I, I, I don't see it this year. I Maybe next year. I, I don't see it there either. I mean, this is three, five, ten years out. It's a long time because from a crypto perspective, it is a product that's built for a consumer that doesn't exist. Crypto people are not going to spend their crypto, not in the volume necessary to get this out, to really, you know, move the needle on this. So if they go with fiat, if that is the part of any asset check marked it's it's big it's all over the reddit so if it is in fact any asset i think there's some here here if fiat is not quite integrated there it's neat but it's uh it's still niche so i don't really see it blowing up but the best news is that in a week to 10 days i'll you know what i'll give them three weeks that when the SDK actually releases we get a hold of it we can take it apart and we can you know run some tests then we'll know just like that. So it's a great announcement in that the waiting game is over. But it's uh, also kind of a scary announcement because if it doesn't, now what are you waiting for? So we're going to find out. Either way, I think it's good things for AMP. Uh, I think it's good things for Flexa. Maybe not such good things for AMP, but it is definitely good news for Flexa because they're finally going to put this thing out. We're finally going to get to see it, and we're going to get to see who is going to integrate it. So with that, folks, that's all I got to say on this one. Please leave me the comments. I need them. Uh, and until next time, please stay safe. Be smart with your money. Cheers.